Hi, my name is Representative Ephraim Elliott and you've just been placed on alert. Welcome to the Elliott Alert. My guest today is Justice Ted Harding for JP District 12. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good How morning. I'm doing well. Uh, Justice Harding is running for our county judge seat uh, from the Republican ticket. Is that right, correct? Exactly. Okay. Now, Justice Harding, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I sh sure. First of all, let me tell you, I appreciate the opportunity to be here, Thank Representative you. Elliott. Mm -hmm. and, uh, UAPB is a vital part of the county, it obviously. Is. This is the county seat. Pine Bluff is the county seat, and then that's the university, and then we have the CR College also, and you all mm -hmm. work hand in hand together. Uh, one of the reasons that I, or a little bit about myself, is that I'm a lifetime resident of Jefferson County. Okay. I'm a third generation uh, resident of Jefferson County. My grandfather and father had a, a business uh, grocery store mom and pop type grocery store, I guess I would explain. Was that in Pine Bluff or in the county? or what, That was what in was Pine Bluff. In Pine Bluff? Oh, okay, yeah. great. That's some history. Yeah, and they had that for probably, between my father and my grandfather, uh, probably about 20 years. Oh, okay. And, but then I served on the quorum court for eight years, eight terms, 16 okay. years. And now, you did, you've done 16 years on the quorum court. This is my 16th This year. is your 16th <clears throat> Now, can, can you tell me where is your district located? My district right now runs uh, up to a little bit uh, around 104, up in the Dexter area mm -hmm. too, on 365. It's pretty much the majority of Whitehall, mm -hmm. part of Dollaway, and part of Dexter, I guess is the okay. best way to explain it. Okay. So. All right. And you were, you were saying, uh, you was giving us a little bit of history in reference to your family. You said you're like a third generation Jefferson County resident, right. which is, that, that's great. You've got a lot of history. Uh, and you were telling us a little bit more about yourself. Well, I've, as, as you mentioned, I've served, uh, this is my eighth term on the Jefferson County Quorum Court. Mm -hmm. I've been, in, been very active, been a, hopefully a positive force for my district. Mm -hmm. And um, I chair the Judicial Committee. I serve on the uh, finance committee, mm -hmm. building and grounds and education committees. I've chaired the judicial committee for 10 years okay. and for six years I was appointed by the National Association of Counties mm -hmm. on the Finance and Intergovernmental Affairs Steering Committee mm -hmm. and I represent Arkansas at that level. Okay. So. Now can you, for those of us who don't know, uh, what is the judici judicial uh, I guess committee for the county. What, what does that count? I mean, what does that encompass? Basically, that is the all the all the circuit judges. Okay. The prosecuting attorney. All right. All of those areas uh, come through the finance committee for funding. Okay. We don't hire the judges, obviously, right. <laughs> but we do fund their M and O. Right. And that's okay. what we're doing. Now you say M and O maintenance and operation okay. expenses. So you that's you you handle the money. That's right. <laughs> well, see, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. good to know. And you you were doing that for like what ten, 10 years? years? Mm -hmm. That's a major responsibility. It is. Mm -hmm. okay. But I've got a good crew of, of people on my committee, and then uh, we work well with the judges and the prosecuting attorney. Mm -hmm. So and, and everything is that, works out really well. Is that all the judges, the Pine Bluff judges, or the, just the county judges? The, the county judges. Okay, the county judges, and that's the juvenile judge. Uh, what, what circuit? All the circuit judges. All the circuit judges. And the prosecuting attorney. Okay, and the prosecuting attorney. So right. you have a, a major responsibility in reference to working with their budgets. I mean, how is it to, to get all their budgets, budgets uh, I mean, I guess the way they want it? That's a big Proof. responsibility. <laughs> well, uh, around September, we start the budget process every mm -hmm. year. And uh, most of the budgets have been flat for the last several years. What do you mean when you say flat? Well, we haven't increased. Okay. The only increase we've seen the last two or three years, I guess, has been in the uh, fringe benefits of the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, some employees may take health insurance that didn't have it, they had it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So we have to uh, match that. And then, uh, but other than that, the judges will submit or the prosecuting attorney, as does all departments, mm -hmm. it's just in, in different committees. Uh, a budget request, and okay. then we look at the request. We try to meet it, mm -hmm. and so far it's been uh, it's been a pretty smooth operation, and getting our process getting that done. Mm. 
and I, I guess you got 10 years of experience of getting that done, so you kind of know what the do's and the don'ts are. And <laughs> exactly. Well, the judges all know me, and right. I know them, and over the years we've had a good, good working relationship, and they know the financial restraints that we've got. They know what we pretty much can do. There are some things that we we have to do ensure yeah. their security and things like that that we've had to implement in the last several years. But okay, okay. Now, uh, are you married? Have a family? Uh, I mean, tell me a little bit about that. I am married. My okay. wife. My wife is a school teacher. Okay. My mother-in-law is. Oh, my wife is a school teacher at Whitehall. My mother-in-law is a retired school teacher from okay. Watson Chapel. My eldest daughter is. A graduate of UAPB, as okay. is my son-in-law, mm -hmm. and she teaches in the Dollaway School District. Outstanding. And uh, so they had, and I graduated from Palm Bluff High School, so I think we've got them all covered. Oh. So. <laughs> you, yeah, you got them well covered. <laughs> so um, now, with being a, a third generation um, resident of Jefferson County, uh, having all those uh, people who you, you've just mentioned being residents of Jefferson County, why would you want to be county judge? Well, that is one reason why, because <laughs> of my, my history here. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've worked under two judges, and I've seen both both administrations. I've taken, I've tried to take the best of both both uh, operations. Mm -hmm. And now, when you said you worked under two judges, what two judges were? That was Judge Jones and Judge Jones. Hopel, right? Okay, and Judge Mike Hucker. Right, the two. current judge. Who the reason. Uh, that this this is even contested, I think, is because he has decided to step down from right. county judge and run for state representative. Mm -hmm. And he and I have had a good working relationship through the years. He's a Democrat, I'm Republican, right. but I can tell you on the quorum court, that's never been an issue. Okay. We've well, now, never had a party line, and uh, and I, I and never had a racial line. Right. It's just a good working group that we've had. I've got good colleagues. Mm -hmm. Now, Judge Holcomb is. Uh, those are some pretty big shoes to to fill. He's a he's a dynamic person, and uh, he he works with everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's too many people who have a bad thing to say about him, uh, unless they didn't get their way. But <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you have to say right. no. Exactly, and that's that's part of the job as well. Um, but in that capacity, um, and I, I tell you one question that I really wanted to ask you uh, in reference to your history here. Um, how do you think maybe Jefferson County has evolved, uh, you know, in the 10, well, you've been there for 16 years, I'm right, on the quorum court, court been for here 16, and been there all your life, but, uh, yeah, Jefferson County has, um, I, from the 15 years I've been here, I, I've seen it evolve, but um, I wanted to kind of ask you, how do you think that, that it has evolved uh, right now uh, from your perspective and uh, especially with the, the two county judges that you've worked under and how they work with things. And uh, But I, I tell you, you saved that answer. We're going to go right to uh, a break, and when we come back, uh, you can spend the rest of the time answering that. <laughs> Very, good. Very good. We'll be right back. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. Welcome back to the LA Alert. Uh, again, my guest today is Justice Ted Harding, who's running for county judge on the Republican side. And uh, before we left, Justice, we were, you were just telling me or you were going to explain to me how has Jefferson County evolved since you've been here. I know you've been here all your life, but you've been serving for 16 years. 
So can you tell me a little bit about how you think it evolved and, you know? Yes, the evolution process of, of the county itself is, uh, has, has mixed reviews, I guess, okay. I would say. Mm -hmm. we, we have evolved. We're the hub of southeast Arkansas yes. and mm -hmm. the county seat being Pine Bluff. I'm a little disappointed that downtown Pine Bluff has deteriorated to, it, right. to the extent that it has. It's, it's sad to drive down there and, and see the businesses that no longer are there because mm -hmm. I grew up working with Bank of America location now, which was NBC through all the evolutions process mm -hmm. of buyouts. Uh, there were four of them, I guess. And, but uh, it was always a vital, vital part of the community and vital part of the, the county. But then we've got the malls. Mm -hmm. We've got, uh, we had Walmart there. We've still got Walmart, but not in the mall. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of good things have happened. Uh, there's uh, still a lot of people from Southeast Arkansas come to Pine Bluff and, mm -hmm. and Jefferson County to, to buy goods or to eat at restaurants. We do have some fine restaurants. Uh, Whitehall has developed. We've got the Woodland Plaza, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of restaurants out there and businesses. And mm -hmm. So I've seen, I've seen it flourish to, to that extent. We have lost population mm -hmm. in Jefferson County, and we're working on that. Uh, as you as you are aware, and I'm sure that the uh, viewers are aware, we did pass the community development tax right. that has uh, gives us an, uh, a chance to compete with other counties and other states even mm -hmm. to get industry here and, uh, with this Vivian, Vivian uh, company that has come in here that played a major role in getting them here so right. so mm -hmm. we've got some good things to talk about well, outstanding outstanding and uh, you mentioned in the beginning uh, about how downtown Pine Bluff has deteriorated um, is there anything in the plan that you think to kind of bring that that back because you've actually seen how it was and how it flourished. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a possibility of getting something back that, I mean, back like that? It will take a major effort mm -hmm. on the chamber, mm -hmm. the community and ho as a whole, the businesses. Um, the farmer's market has been a big plus. Yes. To, that that uh, Simmons Bank actually uh, mm -hmm. helped fund that, uh, put the, put the uh, seed money in for that. And uh, I think there's, a, there's an opportunity, but it'll take a lot of work to right. get that. And there's more people are more suburbanizing, I guess, if that's a word. Right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we've got the mall uh -huh. uh, dislocated from downtown Pine Bluff. Mm -hmm. We've got Walmart. We've got things that are on the peripheral. But right. uh, there's, there's still a chance to get, we just, we just have to do some real, real research with communities that have been successful in revitalizing their downtowns. Right. And there because are some that we can look at. You're, you're absolutely right, because generally if you go to a city um, that's thriving, I mean, when you look at their downtown, there's some major activity. And um, you've seen it. I mean, you've lived it and you've been around it. So, um, you know, I'm sure that's, that's one thing that can, can actually help us. And I think the county would play a major part in something like sure. that. Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, from in saying that, I, I wanted to ask you, what are some of the things that you wanted to do, you know, once uh, you became county judge? Well, uh, as county judge, there's a, lot of res there's a lot of responsibilities that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, one is you're the chief executive officer of the county. Right. Uh, to, to put it in a more, more uh, layman's perspective, I guess, the county judge is actually the mayor of the county, right. if you would look at it that mm -hmm. way. The justices are actually aldermen, aldermen. of the county, mm -hmm. or aldermen. And uh, it's, it, that's, that's the way it operates. As far as, uh, now your question was, what? My, my question was, um, and I'm glad you gave us the breakdown, because a, a lot of people may not really understand that. Sometimes people say, county judge, He's going to uh, go to court. He has a roll bone and all that other good stuff, but you're actually right. The county judge is more of an administrator of the county, and uh, the uh, JPs are like the aldermen. That are with county council. The county, so. county council. And uh, as the administrator, uh, the head administrator of the county, um, I'm sure there's some things that you want to do or some things that you want to see because you've been here for a while. You know 
and you've seen um, what the county and what the, the, the district can be. So can you uh, tell us a little thing, a couple things that you would like to address uh, if you're blessed to be county judge? There are two issues that I'm real concerned about. Mm -hmm. One issue is the state tax rebate mm -hmm. that the counties have been hit with. That sounds like a good thing that we're getting a rebate from the sales tax, mm -hmm. and it is a good thing. The problem is the state is now, for the last couple of years, taking, taking funds from our portion of the rebate mm -hmm. and using it for incentives for businesses. Is that businesses in Jefferson in County the, in, or just in, in the state? In Jefferson County and the state. Okay. Now, let me put that a little more in perspective. In 2010, there was $2 million that was taken from tax rebate money for that process. Mm -hmm. In 2011, there was $32 million taken. Wow. So apparently, in its infant stages, the word wasn't out that there's money there right. that, that, that we can obtain. The problem with that is... Well, I tell you, we're going to have to go to the break, but I want to sure. come back and uh, address okay. that because that's a lot of money. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go right back to, to break. Yeah, I took a trip to Elkhart, Indiana today. Elkhart's a place that has lost jobs faster than anywhere else in America. In one year, the unemployment rate went from 4.7% to 15.3 percent. Companies that have sustained this community for years are shedding jobs at an alarming speed. And the people who've lost them have no idea what to do or who to turn to. They can't pay their bills. And they've stopped spending money. And because they've stopped spending money, more businesses have been forced to lay off more workers. In fact, local TV stations have started running public service announcements that tell people where to find food banks even as the food banks don't have enough to meet the demand. As we speak, similar scenes are playing out in cities and towns across America. Welcome back to the LA Alert. Uh, my guest again is Justice Ted Harding, who is the uh, Republican candidate for uh, County Judge of Jefferson County. Thanks again, uh, Justice Harden, for coming Thank you, on. Uh, before we left on break, you were explaining uh, the tax rebate and the, some of the money that's been left on the table or taken away from us. Can you uh, elaborate a little further on that? Yes, and right before we left, I was talking about in 2011, there was $2 million taken mm -hmm. from, the, from the counties. And in 2000, I mean 2010, there were mm -hmm. two th $2 million taken. 2011, $32 million. Mm -hmm. That's statewide. That's not all Jefferson County. Okay. But it, it's, it, there's 75 counties. But it's, it's, it's hitting all 75 counties. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. The problem with the, with the rebate uh, that they're taking is that the counties are given no input as to who gets the money. Okay. We're not being told when the money's taken. Mm. It's taken throughout the year. And this past year, Jefferson County got hit with a million dollars wow. of money they took. But we have no control over it. We have uh, no idea who's getting the money. We don't have any idea what the criteria is for them to obtain that rebate. Wow. And I think it's just absurd. It's an unfunded mm. mandate, and not only that, we're not even privy to the act, the process. Mm. So as county judge, I want to get with the County Judges Association, Arkansas mm. Association of County Judges, and I want us as a group, mm -hmm. hopefully I can sell it because it's affecting a lot of counties, mm -hmm. especially the smaller counties, right. and try to do something uh, with the state legislature. And right. I know you're on the state <laughs> legislature. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. at least let us know what we can expect so that we can budget for it. Right. See, we can't even budget for it. We're hit, and then that affects our revenues and, and how, we, how we have budgets set up. It affects mm -hmm. the budget process, and it's just, it's just unheard of right. that, we, that, we're, that much money is being taken without us having any input or any knowledge of, of where and why. Now, um, well, because we just pay, passed a sales tax, is that rebate within the sales tax are they, or, or is that two separate pools of money? Well, the sales tax that, that we generated goes strictly for the business development. Okay. 
and that's the city and the Pine Bluffs portion goes. Mm -hmm. Ours, the county is earmarked totally for that, mm -hmm. the three eights. But uh, the sales tax in general, other than that, is what's being taken on our. On our so the rebate and the sales tax are two separate pools of resources. Yes, that's two separate. And if, we can, if we can pull both of them together, we could really make some incentives on people coming to Jefferson County. If we even knew where it was going. <laughs> I mean, it's just really absurd is the best right. word I can mm -hmm. use to explain it. And those are th those are one of the things that you, you're going to address to make sure that Jefferson County has its fair share. Right. Okay. One other issue that, that I would want to address, and uh, not addressing it totally as the county judge, but what I see in our community is that there is a real need for technical high schools. Right. And That's I say so that right. because mm -hmm. I've got a family of teachers mm -hmm. and I hear it. I have even sub I even substitute mm -hmm. at the school districts for five years. Right. And I see it. There's so many kids in school today that have no intention of going to college. Exactly. They're not college material, mm -hmm. but they're they could be extremely productive in their field that, that they choose. Right. And when, when you say college material, uh, I've, I had some plumbing work once before, and uh, I tell you, the, the guy, he may not have been plum, I mean, um, college material, but he was a very good plumber. Exactly he made a very good. I was going to say, has, has, <laughs> right. any, has anybody paid a plumber right. or electrician lately? A uh, plumber or electrician. Or, they, they or got your car fixed. Or got your car fixed. So, I mean, those are things that we desperately need. And um, you may not need a college degree for it, but you can make a very good living. Off of it. You have to have technical skills. Right. And, mm -hmm. and if you give these, these students the incentive in, the, in high school, 10th grade on up, Mm -hmm. or even ninth grade on up. Right. If, they, if they choose to go into a skilled field mm -hmm. versus going to college, mm -hmm. it's their choice. You, you, you've got to want to go to college right. to actually be successful there. Mm -hmm. And we're, we tell the kids that if you don't go to college, you're not a success. I disagree with that. Right. And you just gave a fine example. Exactly. You got plumbers making seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars a year. Right. And and some even more than that. Even more than that. Uh, that's not a bad. That's not a bad salary. You got so a lot of college graduates that don't make that. Exactly. Who, who have masters. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So we've got to look at what's real out here and mm -hmm. give our give our children an opportunity to learn a skill that they want to do, not mm -hmm. that we want them to do. Right. And I think that if we could work on that, that would be a real plus. Another thing is that's going to help us attract new industry and get new jobs in Jefferson County. Exactly. Because when a company, let's be honest, when a company comes to a community, mm -hmm. they want to look at the skilled workforce right. pool. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What, 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 com what pool of workers do you have that could do the job that we need done? Mm -hmm. And these are higher paying jobs. And so we've got to, we've got to address that and, and, and do something about that. Right. Now, um, someone who actually wants to get in contact with you or have more questions, how would they get in contact with you? Uh, my email address is ted.harden, and it's H-A-R-D-E-N, okay. at att.net. Okay. Can you slow it down just so that someone who, right. uh, yeah, can you say it one more time? Ted.harden, uh H-A-R-D-E-N, -huh. at att. Net. Okay. And um, how do you get in contact? Is there a phone number that someone can get in contact with you? 247-2417. Uh -huh. Okay. And I, I tell you... Um, I've got an answering machine an there. An answering machine. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, also here at the LA Alert, we make sure that we extend out uh, invitation to both the Democratic and the Republican. So uh, we're going to also have uh, Dutch King on as well to uh, address some issues in reference to the county judge as well. But I just want to let you know it's been a pleasure visiting with you, Justice Harding, and uh, good luck in uh, the election. I appreciate it. And I just want to let you know you've just been placed on alert. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. Thank you.